Hi, this is Personal Tutor, and today we will talk about commands to shut down a system. So, you know, a Solaris system, um, we beat any any operating system. We should not abruptly shut it down, particularly a Unix system. A, an improper shutdown can corrupt data. It can put the repository in a state where uh, it's corrupt and not bootable. It could corrupt system files. So we should try um, keeping the system from improper shutdown. For that, you know, um, Spark systems and new x86 boxes have multiple power supplies so that one fails, other should be running. Um, so anyways, as an admin, when we shut down the system, we have multiple commands, so that's what we're going to talk about. So, um, come here. So let's try to see all the commands we have to shut down a box. First, definitely is shutdown command, and then we have init command. Um, we have halt command. We have power off. We have reboot command. And um, we can say we have a, a, another command or stop plus a. We'll talk about it. So in let me say that. So we have shutdown command, init command, halt command, power off command, reboot command. Let's take all these commands one by one. Shutdown command, I think it's the safest way to shut down a box because um, it, if there are multiple users, you can check how many users are there on a system with who command. Like right now, only root is logging, one from the console and one from this terminal. But if say 200 people are logged into machine with who command, you will be able to see all those people. And with shutdown command you can give a message to all these users that machine is going down please save your data come out and then give a grace period say five minutes that um, then you can uh, give the users some time to come out before the machine goes down so that that is I think the safest way and shutdown command is capable of doing a reboot, a shutdown, taking it to any init level. The same way init takes uh, the machine to different levels, uh, same way shutdown can also take it to all these levels. So I think shutdown, so for example, if you want to give shutdown command, shutdown hyphen i, you would give the init level. If you haven't uh, read the init levels, and there's another video about run levels you can check anyway so right now if I say run level 6 which means reboot so this machine is gonna reboot and then you could give a grace period 5 minutes would be uh, 6 times 5 300 seconds so G300 means it's gonna wait for 5 minutes grace period is 5 minutes and the message that will go to every person uh, system is going down in five minutes. Please save your stuff, please save your files, and log out. So if I press enter, it will give five minutes and it will reboot. Let's let's give it. Press enter. See, shutdown started, broadcast message. So because we are logged in, we got this message too. And please save your message and log out. So see, in five minutes it will go down. So we have five more minutes before we uh, finish this, this chapter. Anyways, then we have init command. Init command is usually um, to change init level or change run level. So you need to know all the run levels before you do init command. Mostly it's zero, which is taking it to OK prompt, or one, which is taking it to single user mode, 
S is also single user mode and uh, run level 2 is multi user without NFS in it 3 you can take it to multi user mode with NFS and 5 is shutdown and 6 is reboot so these are the run levels so you want to change to if you say in it 6 it will reboot if you run not running it otherwise it will reboot then there is a command called halt command it's a very destructive command if you say halt it will not stop any process it starts killing them and just reboot just uh, stop the system or halt the system uh, within few seconds so if you have a lot of hung hung processes that time you use halt command to just halt the system it is destructive so usually we don't use halt command and then we have reboot command reboot command is also built on halt but it just does not halt after halting it reboots the system it also do not take much time so if say your system is hung and you're not able to do anything uh, you you reset the system and it stops at OK prompt there you run sync command to generate crash dumps uh, and after that you turn on the system and give those crash dumps to uh, the vendor Oracle so that they can analyze and see what was wrong with the system so that was shutting down and uh, in a bit it will reboot hmm. thanks for watching you Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and in the comments below let me know if you want me to make a video of a certain topic. Have a good one.